From this point, we should be able to remove the logic board. very gently wiggling this out. And at this point, we've disconnected the entire logic board from the M1 Pro 16 inch 2021 MacBook Pro. Taking a look at the other side, we can see the back plate for the M1 Pro CPU. Um, we're gonna have to remove those screws if we wanna expose the heatsink. Um, and then looking inside, the fans stay inside. They look pretty low profile to me. Um, we'll go ahead and remove one just for fun. But first we're gonna take a look at the motherboard. We're gonna put this to the side for now. So here is the bottom view of the motherboard. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these four screws. They appear to be a Torx 4. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the backplate screws. They're actually a Torx 5. And when disconnecting backplates and reconnecting them, you wanna slowly do each screw a little bit at a time so you don't put too much pressure on any spot of the CPU die. Okay, now that we've disconnected the screws in the back plate, we're gonna flip the motherboard over. Make sure you hold the heat sink. I don't know if that's all that's holding the heat sink down, but you don't want it to fall off. So now we've removed the heat sink on this MacBook. For a brand new computer, I would say that that thermal paste job is not very nice. Um, I don't know what that black thermal paste is. It appears to be covering the two RAM dies, 